Um, big thing you need to work on to help the hand path move in is your pivot. So um, what you did before was you get it in your setup, which was fine. You'd start this decent move away, and then you would start sliding and keeping this right knee bent too much, and you'd almost straighten your left knee. So you kind of get this little sway action. What I want you to do is feel more rotary. So what you're going to do, uh, one, for your drill, set up. You can put your head up against the wall and just do little uh, backswing motions, feeling the left knee move down, right knee straighten a little bit, and almost like you're pulling your right shoulder to the target and behind your neck. So you can see as I'm doing that, left knee bends, right knee straightens, and my head stays pretty much in the middle of my body. Um, and then what we did to help you really feel the hand pass stay back and behind you and not come out over the top was basically have an alignment rod kind of going out here by your right uh, shoulder. And you'd have to feel the left arm swinging underneath that on the way back and also on the way through. So you can kind of rehearse that, keep that left um, pressure point underneath your armpit on your left. And as you're swinging back, it's going to feel like you're really bringing the hands deeper behind you. Uh, the big checkpoint for you is going to be that the hands aren't above your uh, right shoulder or inside your right shoulder, close to your head. It needs to be on top of your right shoulder, but you'll probably feel it's behind your right shoulder, which is fine for you to feel right now. Uh, other than that, I uh, really liked where you're at. So work on that drill at home a lot. Give yourself five, ten minutes a day just to work on the drill alone with the uh, club across your chest. And then just make some practice ones. You can watch yourself at home kind of going through the checkpoints. If you got a full length mirror, just really making sure that so you can see my hand path is starting to work through my bicep up to the top. And you can see I've got some hip tilt here and my shoulders are still tipped down to the ground. So like I said, give me five minutes a day just working on that stuff. You'll notice a huge improvement. And I look forward to uh, seeing you soon for your next session.